Hello and welcome back to the channel. Colite have sent me their latest auxiliary lights. They are the LA5 series. They come in either yellow or white, but of course I've gone for yellow because it's the best. The thing of it is, they're saying these are gonna be the best auxiliary lights on the market. Now I've been sending them for that 11 out of 10 test. So let's unbox them, see exactly what you get, go for installation, and then of course, put them out in the real world and see exactly how awesome and bright they are. So let's get on with it and Cue the intro. Let's start with the great unboxing. Now Colite have sent me everything that I need to attach the lights to my crash bars. First of all, they've sent me the motorcycle wiring loom that has a controller, two plugs and a generous lead. Next I've been sent the 0.75 inch to 1.25 inch roll cage mounting brackets. This is what you need to be able to attach them to your crash bars that have different inserts that means that they can fit across a range of crash bars. Now for the main box. The first thing you see are these two awesome stickers. On removing the protective cover you instantly see your LA5 series light pods. These are 3 inch and I've got to say they look absolutely awesome in the yellow. They're fitted with five powerful LEDs that shoot a 150 degree wide beam and also a waterproof IP67 rated. How cool do they look? And that is everything you'll find inside the box. So now it's time for installation. First thing you need to do is remove the seat, get access to your battery and remove any plastic paneling. Next, take your roll cage mounting brackets. Select the right insert for your bars. Find the perfect location on your crash bars where you'd like the bracket to go and then it's simply do the two bolts up to secure it into location. Next, to take your light bracket, simply pop in the bolt, put it onto the mount, making sure that you locate it in the angle you wish the lights to be. Now take your awesome LA5 auxiliary lights and pop them onto the bracket. Simply tighten the two bolts. Take your wiring loom, there is a positive and negative an ignition lead and also a trigger wire. The trigger wire can be connected to your horn if you want to go through the strobe effects using your horn. In my case, I've installed a thunder box that will only switch on when the engine is running and the current is at the correct level. That means that I can cut the wires, connect them to the thunder box to power the lights to make my life really, really easy. Next, take your control, run the wiring down the length of your bike and then decide how you'd like to install it to your handlebars. There is different options available. I've decided to attach it to the mirror mount. This was really simple, and do one bolt, pop your mount into place, and then tighten the bolt. Next, take your 3M sticky pad. Simply put that onto your mount, and then attach your remote with a little bit of pressure, and after a few seconds, it'll be nice and secure. With all of your wiring in place and complete, it's now time to put back on all of your plastics and make sure you tidy up all of the wires. Using plastic ties or these rubber ties to make sure everything is nice and secure and nothing's touching your engine bay or hanging down. The box that contains all of your wiring, I used another one of the 3M sticky pads on the back of it to secure it underneath the seat to make sure it's nice and safe. Now simply put your seats back into place, start up your engine and check to make sure your lights are powering on and going through all the different strobe modes and that is installation complete and I've got to say don't these lights look absolutely awesome So now it's time for the real world test and you can see it's pretty dark outside. Now this is the standard Africa twin lights with the manufacturer's spotlights on as well. I'm going to switch the co-lights on now. Wow, you can see an incredible difference with them on. An incredible difference. Wow, right now let's press it and turn them off and back on. Wow, that is so much better. Now I'm using thick winter gloves today because it's quite cold outside and I can easily toggle the buttons on the controller. And now we're switched to strobe mode. So if you were say broken down or you were trying to let somebody know that you're there, strobe mode, mode is spot on. And then you can switch to each side. 
what means that you're definitely going to move traffic out of the way or like I said get seen if you need to get seen and then you can switch straight back on to the blinkers flashing away again I mean that is really cool to flip through those modes that's awesome and then back with the power on again I am super super impressed just riding this is a massive difference with these lights that's impressive but of course don't take my word for it let me show you it what it's like when you're going down the road and exactly what you can see so ladies and gentlemen this is the light show Well, I'm sure that you'll agree that these LA5s from Colite are absolutely awesome. They are so easy to install, super bright on the road. It makes an incredible, incredible difference. And I just think they make my Africa Twin look that much more sort of awesome and meaty and cool. Now, the thing of it is, if you're interested in picking up your set of these, everything you need to know is down in the description, even with the latest discount code. Go over, check them out. You'll be surprised how great a price that these actually are. I'm impressed. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Not just that, if there's someone else that you think would really enjoy these LA5 series from Colite, please share this video with them. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get the latest product reviews in the bike scene. And for now, all I can say is enjoy your ride, take care, and bye bye <laughs>